Gloria and Drake right here at Tinker Wonderland. On today's video, I am going to share with you my very first cricket project. <laughs> so yes, guys, uh, finally uh, get a chance to um, play with the cricket that my husband, here's my Drake, that my husband gifted to me uh, for our wedding anniversary. So yeah, and <laughs> I did realize that... Um, I should not start. <laughs> I should not start with um, uh, like intricate or uh, um, what you call this. <laughs> Drake is trying to want to get the phone on me right here. <laughs> so yeah, I started with a very um complicated uh one, which is not good. <laughs> so for uh, since I am just a beginner. So but to all the beginner there, if you wanna try, if you wanna try to uh play with your cricket guys don't start with the complicated images because <laughs> uh, it's really hard but uh, I enjoy it I I um, I love it how I love how it turns out so if you guys interested to see what I made for my very first um, cricket project just hang out with me and but before that i would like to thank you all for watching thank you for my current subscriber for your love and support since day one to all new on this channel guys thank you for um welcome first welcome for uh a tinker wonderland and uh uh, if you're new again, I would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. Consider to click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell button so you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Especially with my kitty here. <laughs> Look at that handsome guy. You can see him every Saturday on my uh, 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 here on our channel, Tinker Wonderland. Uh, again, this is Drake and this is thinker so both of them both of them will be on uh, my saturday saturday it's my saturday videos every saturday guys so if you uh if you love cats and you want to see more of my cats activities you can uh watch them every saturday on a saturday saturday videos <laughs> there you go so here we go guys here is my um first cricket project <laughs> for uh uh for today uh, it's a for today's video it's um i called it like weeding my first cricket project so hang out with me and keep watching enjoy here you go guys here is the very first <laughs> project my very first cricket project that i uh just did and uh I chose this dragon image and I didn't realize that I should not as a beginner I should not pick a, a complicated image because of those intricate uh, intricate um, lines there that I have to weave so right now I am weaving this uh, project this dragon those scales are so hard to uh, weed and but then i um i uh, found a, a good tricks or a, i have found an easy way to remove all those um all those vinyl using or oh, with with all those vinyl using a paper tape <laughs> so uh with this paper tape i just um it i just able to uh remove all those small pieces or catch all those small pieces by just uh, uh as you can see it sticks on the tape easily so it is and it's not messy so that's why uh, i'm glad that i uh, thought about uh, doing this and yeah so like i said guys if you are a beginner for uh, in using a cricket don't don't start with an intricate or don't start with a very complicated images like this <laughs> i just decided to uh, my husband loved dragons they also love dragon but so when i saw this um on the website uh i uh, found out i just got interest with it and i uh i tried it i, I printed it out and i uh 
um, have my cricket cut it and there you go and I believe it turns out really nice I really I, I am in love with this image now <laughs> I really really like it so I'm going to uh, iron this by the way this is an iron on iron on vinyl the everyday iron on vinyl that I uh, use I only have black and white so I decided to just use the black vinyl the black iron on vinyl so to use on my uh, sweatshirt so I'm going to iron this on my sweatshirt once I'm done weeding <laughs> it, it takes a lot of time and patience guys <laughs> it really tested my patience in uh, weeding this kind of image but uh, I am happy with with the result I am really happy with the result <laughs> and it's really really nice so yeah I love it guys and uh, again I fell in love with this and uh, finally get a chance to uh, play with my uh, cricket that my husband gifted to me uh, on for my uh, wedding anniversary <laughs> so yeah I uh, I am now would like to uh, make more more images to put on a shirt I, I would love to make a lot of shirt uh, use, uh, using all the images that I like I am now trying to uh, pick all the images and save it so I can uh, put it on the shirt I, I am I fell in love with this one <laughs> I, I didn't realize that it is addicting guys it re it's really addicting to make this one uh, it's a little expensive the cricket machine is a little expensive but it's it worth it's worth so I now I uh, understand what the other uh, cricket owner <laughs> feels how it feels to have this kind of um, this kind of tools or this kind of toy <laughs> I call it toy so there you go guys that that is how it turns out and yes I have my uh, light board here it's really useful for me too to see all the small um, small I images there or small characters and there you go so I hope you enjoy watching this video guys next to this one I am going to uh, uh, try to iron this shirt or this image to my shirt to my sweatshirt and hopefully it will turn out good and the image I can capture all the image on my shirt and I am going to use it so yeah all right guys so here on this part right now I am trying to uh, iron my uh, my I uh, my um, what you call this <laughs> my uh, cricket project here on my uh, sweatshirt I am just using a normal um, uh, household iron here I don't have an I don't have a press or an easy press yet so maybe uh, I have to I have to save for it yet so <laughs> so yeah I have to save for it yet before I can uh, buy a new uh, an easy press but for now this iron household iron works for me and um, yeah I am now starting to I would like to um, give a shout out to my uh, sister-in-law for giving me this uh, I don't know or I forgot what you call this one I think it's a Teflon sheet or whatever <laughs> So, uh, thank you for giving me this. I actually lost the other one, but I, I can order at Amazon. So, uh, I use this. I, I am using this now for an ironing this um, cricket project that I have here. And again, I am not going to mention your name. I know you're a private per person, but I would like to thank you, my sister-in-law, for giving me this uh, Teflon sheet or this iron sheet whatever <laughs> so, thank you so much for this uh, at least i have um i have something to uh, use for my uh, sample project here so here you go guys there's here is my uh, there here is the image that i uh, am trying to iron on my sweatshirt i think it's not in the middle it's not um, straight enough on my shirt but uh, I don't mind that works for me so yeah but I, I still can use this one so I'm going to uh, put this on here and then I will show you guys in a little bit how it turns out 
All right, so for now, let me just iron this one and I'll be back. All right, guys, I think I'm done ironing. And here is the moment of truth. I'm going to peel this. So far, it sticks. <laughs> and uh, uh, before I forget, of, of course, I will also want to thank again my um, my sister-in-law for giving me a um, for giving me a what you call that? Oh, this this part is not sticking, so I have to uh, iron it again. For giving me a uh, personal or what you call that? Um, a tutorial there you go <laughs> um private tutorial guys <laughs> my uh, sister-in-law gave me um a private tutorial i've been seeing a lot of people doing this on youtube but uh, i saw it live with my uh, sister-in-law she gave me um um i forgot what you call this word uh, the, i forgot the right word to say uh, she gave me a personal tutorial on how to uh, do this and uh, yeah I learned so I learned I learned from her too so thank you thank you my sister-in-law for doing that so now I just got a chance the other day to uh, try it again actually not the other day last night <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still not waking up <laughs> So I just put um, a, me a small uh, pillow on the inside inside of this sweatshirt so it won't stick on the other side of my uh, sweatshirt. So I put a pillow right here on the bottom or inside. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So I apologize for that, guys. I always bub bubble, mumble bubble, <laughs> mumble mumble here. <laughs> mumbo bubble whatever so there you go let me try it again I'm gonna have to peel it up whoops this part is not sticking so yeah this is how i am going to do it yet guys i am planning to get uh the easy press too i love the easy press that my uh, sister in law have i don't I am not sure if I'm going to get the Cricut Easy Press or the same or almost I will try to find the same thing like uh, my uh, sister sister in law have but that I believe that one is expensive than the one that uh, uh, the one that uh, the Easy Press with the Cricut but uh, we'll see. I have to learn this first <laughs> I'll have to learn it first before I uh, get uh, different accessories again so there you go I hope it will stick now I just uh, put this on the medium heat so it won't uh, get burned and I am not sure how long do I have to uh, iron this, guys. Like I said, I'm I'm just I am just a beginner. This is my very first uh, cricket project, and this is the I think this is the disadvantage of just using a household uh, iron because. I believe with the Cricut, Cricut Easy Press and the other some other Easy Press, eh, you can uh, you can set the timer or do the settings for the timer on how how long you have to uh, press um, an iron on like this. But with the household uh, with the household iron. I am not sure we're not sure how long we need to uh, press this and if there's something that is not sticking well on the shirt or on any clothes 
have to do it again so that's why i am doing this keep trying to see it's not sticking on the clothes so i have to um, do it again to make sure that all the whole image will stick on the plot awesome it really feels good that um, you accomplish something <laughs> so yeah once I learn how to use my Cricut in all projects guys that's gonna be a good one finally I, I am not actually expecting that my husband will buy that Cricut for me because for me it's so expensive but to think of it you can also um, I can also use it for business long-term business though <laughs> we'll see I am looking forward for a long-term business too so at least I have um, a different source of income in an additional income <laughs> it's good to have an additional income so you don't I don't always rely on my uh, paycheck all right it's not sticking well yet I think I have to uh, I have to um, stay long and a little bit and other area so it will stick well <laughs> I am not sure so let me just do this guys I will pause this video for now and I'll be back once everything once I am sure that everything adheres to this plot I'll be back all right guys I'm back so as you can see I am seeing a good result <laughs> it's peeling off very easy now and the whole image it adheres to my sweatshirt awesome look at that guys isn't that cool <laughs> oh my goodness access <laughs> so my first my very first project right here is a success <laughs> awesome i'm so happy with that guys so there you go that is my very first like i said i keep on saying that as a beginner the that is my very first um cricket project it's an iron on cricket project that i just did with you with you guys so there you go thank you all for watching i hope you enjoy watching this video bye for now see you on the next vlog watching have a good day and a good night and guys you can also follow me on facebook at gloria custodio that gardener and on instagram at chigardner.26 and um, also don't forget to, to subscribe on this channel tinker wonderland and also click the bell button next to it so you won't miss any of our video and guys always remember every day is a blessing so start your day with a smile god bless everyone thank you all for your love and support since day one and i will see you on the next vlog